Have you ever seen a disabled person in public and wanted to talk to them about their disability, but you didn't know how to do it kindly? Try the pardon method. P stands for personal. If you're not asking a personal question, you're just treating them like a Google search. So just Google search it. A is authentic. Is this something you really want to know or are you just freezing up in a social situation and you can't stop thinking about their disability? Hey, that's fine. That's relatable. Just ask them what kind of music they listen to. It's not that big of a deal. R is respectful. Remember, there's a difference between personal and intimate. Asking someone how they became disabled or for their medical history is intimate. Keep it more surface level. D is dismissible. Does your question feel like a challenge where they have to justify themselves? If so, then it's not dismissible. They should be able to just walk away if they need to. O is open-ended. Are you treating it like an interrogation where you need one specific answer or are you giving them an opportunity to talk about themselves? N is neutral, specifically morally neutral. For example, asking a disabled mom, you didn't actually give birth to him yourself, did you? Might feel like a genuine question where you're like, oh my goodness, she's so strong. But it can come across as, oh, you're so bad for bringing a child into the world that might have your disability. Some examples of questions that meet the pardon criteria are, why is your wheelchair purple? Your hair looks so good, but I notice your hands are disabled. Did you do it yourself? I'd really love some hair tips. Are there any tools you can recommend? My dance studio has classes specifically for disabled adults, and the first two classes are free. Would you like to join us sometime? I did come up with this method myself, and I'm proud of it.